Hi, it's Derpy Moose 99 Today we're going to film episode 6 of series 4. This is called Duck Pond. And we're going to do something a little bit different today. We're going to do this online at uh, Twitch. And then we're going to upload it, or edit it and upload it to, uh, to YouTube. So let me know if the format works for you. Or if you want to just record them in the studio either way. Or studio, I call this my basement. So anyways, uh, let's see where we're at in Duck Pond here. We have a bitty notice board. We've got 27 homes, 26 families, 71 people. Our food graph is leveling off or even declining. And if we look at our inventory here, one thing about just having this small island, flowers do not take over your whole inventory or, or indeed fodder thatch there. Well, speaking of fodder thatch, do we have any in stock here? Oh, only a little bit. Okay, we were making coats out of fur. That's gone, but we have 167 fur coats. Uh, leather, we have a little teeny bit, not much to worry about. Pelts, we have 42, and we have 220 pelt clothing. Okay, and we're making that via these tiny tailors, courtesy of Grumpy Gnome's advice there, which I appreciate. Uh, let's see, so let's see what we got in our little trading dock here. We got pelt clothing. But we do not have fur coats, so let's put a hundred fur coats in. And we have 787 clothing, so I'm not going to worry too much right now about keeping clothes for the general public here. Um, I think maybe what I'll do is I won't put any hide coats in stock here. And there's 142 of those, so all the local natives can have the cool leather coats and we'll trade all the other stuff away. Still no eggs in stock. Okay, and this trader here is just more or less as a, a temporary one. It's not really in an ideal location. I just put it there because it's got quick access to the storage where the coats and the access to where our current firewood chopper is here. Um, fuel is 891 at a limit of 2400, so we might need to think about a little bit more in the fuel department here. Oh, there's only one person that works up. Maybe we'll up that right away there. Um, tools are 48 out of 50, that's okay. Our food supply is good, but the um, stock is declining, so we're gonna have to worry about that. Health is a big issue too. So one of the reasons for this, um, this dock here was to get some seeds, maybe some vegetable seeds, some fruit seeds, and I definitely want to get some rice going here. So let's uh, let's let it rip here and see where we're at. Okay, we're doing this here, dense tree node, just to get some reliable lumber. Although I will trade for it if they show up with logs. And another house going in there. Oh, tiny lumber I remember now too, okay. Uh, tiny lumber is for the schoolhouse and for the deer butcher here. And here comes the trader. Now I want to watch where this trader goes. Um, let's have a quick look at the map here. So it should be going around this way and down, but we'll see. All right, what are you bringing us? Four lamp oil and some candles. Well, let's get all that. Let's just start anyways. Now, what do we want to trade here? Um, let's trade a few coats and then kind of round it off with flowers. Um, say five there. And 47 flowers and call that a trade. And I think this is set up already on every visit. Yeah. Okay. All right. That wasn't too eventful there. Um, our schools. We only have three students right now. There. And five there. Okay. All right. Our tiny lumber built here. So I'm gonna put somebody in there. You know, interestingly enough, we can put two people in there, but I'll just put one for now. And we're not actually going to need a ton of lumber, so I'm going to say, say, 150, just to start with. 
and it'll build, you know, it'll cut enough for the schoolhouse and for the deer butcher and then put 150 in stock. And with our shaky log supply, that's probably about right for now. Yeah, it looks like we cleared out the circle already here for this dense forest node. Or dense tree node, I guess it is. Tree shack. Um, and it's got two people in there planting, so we can turn that on cutting at any time, really. But let's just let it plant for a while. Now that log cabin built and the family moved in, that's good. And let's see what we show over here. So it says we have too many houses, but that's a bit of a fib. Now let's think about maybe a... Um, well, actually, let's think about what we're going to do over here. Hmm. Well, I want to put a bit of a... A bit of a quarry in, I think, to start with. We don't have any source of stone right now. Other than the stuff that's lying on the ground. And there is not much ground for it to be lying on, so... Why don't we do that? Let's get, get that going for our stone supply. And the school has got all its material. butcher build okay so let's get that working on cutting some venison up I'm not sure how much we have in stock it's probably not a ton yeah a little bit but that'll get us some sausage and we'll get us some leather and more importantly some tallow for candles okay let's put somebody in there for the school so that gives us a dock school here a dock school there with a backup dock school there. And this upgradable one room schoolhouse here. Although I think we need, yeah, building supplies to upgrade that, so. Oh well, that lumber is already finished and put in 150. Good deal. Okay, we're down to a minimal amount of logs here, so I'm actually just gonna start cutting with that tree shack there. Yeah, and you know what? We have enough people. Why don't we actually fully populate this? Okay, let's let that run. Okay. A stone and salt mine is building. You know, I wonder if we should build a second one of those for salt. And, um do some fish salting or something like that. Pouring out the coffee here. Now our food graph is still going to be going down. We need to do something about that pretty quick here. Um, <laughs> I don't really have that many extra people. That dog's at the max there. Mm -hmm. Well, there's a pretty decent spot there for a traditional fishing dog. Why don't we put that in to get some immediate food going here? Ooh, medieval pond. Um, no hull components yet, but that's a good thought, too. Hmm. You know, that circle kind of takes in some of the stuff on the dock, so... Why don't we actually build... I'll start building out. We'll build a, a fisherman out there. 
So it probably means we should put a bit of storage on the end here. Maybe right there. Okay, we'll work on that. And in the meantime, maybe a couple more of these um, dredgers here. Water scavengers. Okay, we got a trader coming in. Yeah, you know, a couple of um, whaling ships might be a good idea. Hmm. Well, let's actually order some stuff here on a permanent basis. So, <clears throat> excuse me, we need um, veg or fruit. So, apple and apricot. And not bread, cause, just because it's cool. And let's see. If we can find rice and eggs, that would be good. Okay. <laughs> this is always fun trying to figure out. The list seems to be all mishmash. Or maybe that's just my brain, I'm not sure. Oh, come on now. Well, I want at least one... some fruit and vegetables if I can't find the stuff exactly that I'm looking for. Now oh, eggs, there we go. And... I don't immediately see rice, so I think we've ordered a rice seed. So we'll uh, we'll buy what they have here. I don't really want to buy horse meat; that doesn't make me happy. And let's see if they actually eat the chili con carne. All right, so we'll buy a bit of food here because our draft is going down. Every visit, and send him on his way. Nomads. Oh, good one. Good catch there. Nine of them. Now, there are some standing around the signboard, so I think what we'll do is we'll save it. Because even though our food supply is going down, I think we take them. But if they show up someplace where they're going to die, that's why I saved, so... <clears throat> Excuse me. Alright, where's our notice board here? <laughs> there we go. Let's allow them and let's see where they showed up. Okay. Two, four, six, eight, nine. So it looks to me like they actually all showed up by the notice board this time, so we're in good shape there. Now, of course, we have the problem we have to be able to feed them. So let's make a bunch of them into builders here. And there is storage here. I was thinking we could actually build up there, but no. And then this is gonna be rice here. So up there fish, maybe down there fish. Um <laughs> how about out this way? So we'll build simultaneously up this way and down this way and get some more fishing docks going. Thanks for the catch on the nomads there, Grace. That was good. I would have totally missed them. Okay, I guess the other thing you're probably yelling right now is build some houses. So let's um, let's do that. I think we're going to be requiring a fair amount of people over here. Yeah, I figured. So let's do that.
Two, four. Look like approximately six to me. Let's let that build. Let's clear some of this stuff out of here. And those water scavengers aren't building. Oh, there's our uh, stone and salt mine. Hmm. Well, let's put a couple of people in there to start with. I don't really have an urgent need for stone at the moment, but it's up. Two people will accumulate slowly. So let's do that. Let's prioritize the uh, water scavengers to get some more food going. And let's kind of hover over here. And um, keep plunking away at these things here. Okay, there's one scavenger. Down to 17 logs, but we did turn on that tree shack, right? This guy here. Yeah, okay. Okay, they're working on the other scavenger. Let's pump some more dock sections down here. Have another inbound trader here, which is good. All right, what did you bring us? A one building supply, cool. 50 logs, which is timely. Two hull components, which, yeah, we're 20% towards a, a whaling ship, I guess. And we need five flowers to round that out. And you're set up for every visit, so okay. I think I might put a small auto purchase in here. So why don't we say 200 logs? Just a small one. Yeah, that is true. They are coming pretty quick. Well, mind you, we're on 10, but... Uh, that's pretty good for one dock, you're right. Yeah, let's see how we do in these houses here. I'm sure our food stock is going down, but we still have 6,700, so... Let's do this, have a look here. And let's uh, build some more here. And there. Now this one, we might not have to go all that far. You know, maybe a couple more sections and that'll give us enough room. Of course, if we get some rice, then uh, we can go crazy on the rice farms and that'll fix our food pretty quick too. So definitely though, if we build two more fishing docks, I'm gonna get into some salting or something to do with the fish. Yeah, this will produce pretty slow, but try not to use too much in the way of uh, stone right now. Okay, I just want to see how these line up here. Ooh. Well, that's kind of cool. All right, our cabins are starting to come up here. have to remember to build the roads around these things too. Oh, I guess I got some removal schedule there. I'll do that in a minute then. Okay, only one, one more cabin to be built here. Stop. Stop clicking on the storage. Um, let's see here. It says we have too, too many houses, but... Uh, just there's two duck blinds right down here. So that's a good point, though. We could probably plunk another one or two in there. Yeah, 
Yeah, those are a good idea, and that'll get us a few more feathers, too, for the survival codes. Good idea, as usual, Grace. Thank you. Oh, what are we out of here for? Well, let's take them out of there. Oh, we had a bit of people. Hmm, <laughs> Okay, a few people died there. Good thing we got those nomads. Yeah, look how good this is doing, how dense that trees, the trees are in that forest there. It's already produced over 260 logs for us. Those things are almost like cheating, I think. But on a map like this, they make total sense. I think there's a hunting blind there. And already another trader coming in there. Okay, better balance this out here. And what do you have? Oh, here we go. Rice seeds. Hmm. Do we want the domesticated animals? Hmm. <laughs> Well, I want the rice seeds, and that's expensive. Well, let's just see how much we actually got here. I think we probably have quite a bit. Yeah. So let's get all the egg. And let's see if we can get actually eight of these things. Well, actually, how many do we have? Is a good question here. We have exactly none. Already then. So, I have to go back and fill this out again, but that's okay. Okay, survival coats are the easiest ones to replace. Let's do all of those. Um, we have lots of fur. We only need 285, so let's go, I don't know, 15. And. Another four would be 19. Cool. Now we have to build a field and figure out what we want to do with those domesticated animals. Yep. Yeah, there's one dog chicken breeder pre-built. Oops. Oh, damn. Don't click away, Mark. Sorry about this, I had to do this a few times, but... And this was 19, I think. Yeah, there's a, a chicken breeder and two rice planters waiting to go here. <clears throat> but we only bought a rice seed, so we're going to have to put a, a temporary farm in here. Which is okay. Let's put a little 11 up by 11 in there. Yeah. Sorry. Yeah, well, some, sometimes that happens, right? All right, our food is 8,000, so we're not bad right now. So let's mess around a bit with... Um, with this fishing dock here. Now, do I want one more? Yeah, maybe one more. Okay, and there's our chicken breeder right there. Oh wow, but we have no people. Alrighty, well, let's at least get that going. Yeah, no, totally makes sense.
Hmm. Had a bit of an old age thing going there. But we have 16 students and 19 children, so we should be okay. But we have no laborers right now. So we're going to need to take somebody out of somewhere. Well, you have nothing to do, so you're unemployed. Go in there. Hmm. Well, it'll take a minute for us to get a few people graduate, I think. So let's let it run. Okay, there's one person graduated. Yeah, it says we have lots of extra houses, so... There's probably strange things going on, but that's okay. Yeah, I can see a few families that are split up. Okay, we'll deal with that in a minute. No sense touching it now. Yeah. Fairly good increase there. And the nomads brought some kids with them too. Now how many building supplies did we get? Just one, okay. You know, between clearing the space for the field and this um, tree shack, we're doing pretty good on logs right now. All right, let's go rice. And there's a market there, so I'm not going to worry about storage. Yeah, back down to one laborer. Well, we can still bring the logs for this... Uh, fishing dock here. So let's go there with a the fish dock. And let's put a small storage there. Alright, now this will help with our health numbers here. So I'm going to see if we can get everything. Just to get a bit of a balanced diet going here. And our fuel is really good, so I'm going to go firewood here, I think. At least 800 anyways. And how about 130 flowers here? Okay, so that should help with our health. So if we were going to do dock herbalists and stuff like that, it probably makes sense to do it somewhere in the middle here. So, again, we don't have the people currently to man it, but... Let's put the herb grower there. And a mender. Something like that. It's not perfectly in the middle, but it is somewhere in the middle. Okay, there were up to three laborers here. Let's see if we can deal up this house here. Ooh. Nope, I'm not going to try and find the hitbox for that thing, so I'll just, I'll ignore that. Not going to muck with that house right in the middle. Hmm. Well, there is probably more in some of these other dock sets. I just haven't explored them yet. I should probably do a practice game or something and just uh, mess around with these different dog sets here. Because it looks like there's really cool stuff in here. Like, what's a seafood farm? Hmm. I wonder if we place one of those. 
It's on the water, it looks like, this guy. Hmm. I'm gonna put one in just to see what it does here. All right, we can afford, I think, one builder at the moment. Yeah. I'd like to turn the deer butcher back on, but no. All right, there's a trader. Oh yeah, you know the orders here? We should probably drop the rice seeds here. Um, and the eggs we don't really need, do we? Hmm. Let's see. Why don't... Let's just change this in no standing order. And let's buy four of these. And send them on its way. Yeah, red ketchup does some really cool stuff. I'll see if I got that right or not. I mean, might as well try it, right? Um, deer butcher back on. Rice planter. Hmm. How's our food graph here? Going back up. But we kind of need the rice for grain. So let's turn that on. Yeah, that makes sense. I tend to not do that, so... I should pay more attention to the descriptions for sure. All right, that's two rice planters. Now that'll get, a, get us some pretty decent grain going. I don't see any budge in her health yet, but... Okay, now there's another fishery. We don't really have the people, so I'm gonna turn that off for now. Our food's actually pretty solid. Our fuel's really good. Everything's actually looking pretty decent right now, which is, um, I think that's famous last words, but I'm going to go up to 200 on the tools here. Hmm. Yeah, I kind of feel like that whenever you say it's going well. It's a jinx. Well, let's get this stuff built, and say a thousand herb limit. All right, and there's the mender. Now we have 93 herbs in stock, so we should see that disappear pretty quick. Okay, another trader here. Candles and lamp oil. Well, I was gonna make candles, but why don't we lay in a few more just in case. And let's go survival coats here. Overpaying by 24. We got bison coming through. Yeah, that's what I've been fighting that for a while here. We're at two. Oh, there we just went to two and a half. So the strategy in the hearts was to get some grain with the rice, um, get some fruit or vegetable seeds at least, but buy fruit and vegetable from the from the grocers as they show up. All right, we have a seafood farm. Now this is cool. 
Now, is it gonna work, I guess? Crawdads, crabs, shrimp, oysters, clams, and scallops. Well, I like actually all of those things, but let's go shrimp. Now, you know what? Maybe we should actually read the description like you've been coaching me here. All right, except I probably have to find... Oh, here it was. Please keep the front of this building free for the crates of food. And don't use it as a walking dock, okay? Now, the deal is, what is the front? So, I'm just going to put one person in here. And we'll just sort of see what happens. We might have to demolish it and rebuild it. But if I actually look at... It was here, here, here... I don't see an obvious front unless you're meant to keep those two boats like out in the water. Hmm. Well, let's see what happens here. See if it produces anything. Okay, I haven't checked housing in a while, which means we're probably short. Yeah, okay. So let's build a number of houses in different, well, let's call them strategic locations. which means totally random. And I think we should build a couple for the fishery here. So just outside the blue circle. Okay, and we should probably finish this thing off too. There's somebody working it, and we just got 18 shrimp, so I'm liking it so far. I won't even try an Australian accent and say shrimp on the barbie. I won't do it. Okay, we can probably take this crop field out, but it's already sprouted, so... Oh, 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 oh. No maddy things here. And this time I don't see any around around here all right so let's do the same thing a save for safety <laughs> all right and let's see if we get that bug or whatever or whether it's a bug or a feature i truly don't know seven of them so where are they okay nobody there Okay, now where is this? Is it anywhere we can build a bridge to? Well, maybe. Hmm. I don't know if they can make it along the shore there. Okay, I'll tell you what I'm going to do here. I am going to put a cheap bridge in. And if we don't get this done in time and they all die, I'm going to reload. So, yeah, that was the idea, was to try a different town hall instead of that notice board. Which we'll do after this, I totally forgot about that actually. But let's prioritize this build on this bridge. Um, let's pause everything else for the moment. Okay, and let's see if we can build this bridge fast enough so they don't die. I think it's going to be a bit iffy actually, but we'll see. Okay, T 
two more logs and we can start building it here. Okay, builder's hole. Okay, come on, come on, come on, come on. Almost there, almost there. Okay, bridge built. Okay, now can they make it? This is a total race against starvation and freezing. Get your ride on a bison, yeah. Come on, guys. Come on, come on. Come on. I think they went and got food first and then tools. Yeah, okay. Wow. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to save that just, you know. I don't know how lucky we get if that crashed and we had to reload. Okay, so let's do a chicken save here. Wow, okay. I didn't think we'd get away with that one. That's kind of a, a happy thing. All right, now it's really important to build those houses here. And I think maybe I'll think about building that mine too. Now we have iron coming out of this guy. But I don't think that's going to sustain a very large town, so... Three lamp oil, hmm, well, I'll buy it in drips and drabs, I guess. So what's this going to be about, say, eight of those, and nine flowers here. Yeah, how many more bridges do we need to build? Um, hmm. See if we can get over here. Yeah. <laughs> We're not going to build a bridge that way, that's for sure. And if we look over here... Yeah, the nearest land is way up there. That might be the only bridge we build in this game. Yeah. Yeah, that's a th I guess that's the idea, is gradually expand the docks out in all the compass directions here. Okay, we're down to about six minutes on the pig timer here. Looks like we had a lot of people graduate too, because we have a lot of laborers now. This is probably not going to be enough houses, so let's build a few more here. Okay, there's one built. Now, do we want any more along here? Well, this, actually, well, this, I think of this thing's working. I can actually put three people in there. Interesting, okay. Well, we might be building more of these here things. Let's have a look here. Now, put a gap or not put a gap? I think it looks better with a gap. I have this crop field here because we don't need it anymore, so let's take the farmer out and let's actually delete this here. Um, homes are building, let's let those build. We have eight builders, so let's maybe turn the mine on too. 
and yeah well you know we can build one for each item or something those things are, I think are pretty cool so I'm, I'm gonna see how much this produces with three of them I built fairly quickly there okay Oh, this one says I clicked on a different one, I guess. RNG Seafood Farm. Yeah, are we going to get random? All right. Well, that'll be cool. Yeah, because this one says Seafood Farm. This one says RNG Seafood Farm. All right, try something new every episode, right? And in about 4,000 years, we'll have Mega Mod 9 figured out. Oh, he has a mine like that too with an RNG. Hmm. Well, that's kind of cool. Now, what's out of what here? Dairy Butcher. Yeah, okay. Two more houses to build in the mine. One more house in the mine. Alright, probably time to kill this. Let's just see. Those are still short two houses. Three hearts now. Food graph good. Okay, let's actually schedule this thing for termination. Now, usually I like to have the town hall close to the dock, but... I definitely don't want it over there, so... Now... Is it the mini that we want to use here, right? So let's just put it out here. Oh, and I totally forgot to keep building here for our other fish farm. Where is our closest land? Our next chunk's up there. So, you know, we can build off the end of this guy here. Actually, if we put in step down. Hmm. And then gotta find. Yeah, that one actually looked pretty close. We go straight north there. Alright, this guy is random, so we got some rice. Olive seeds. Hmm. Olive seeds would make some sense. As in multi purpose. Um soybean would also make sense. Um, let's go olives though. And we'll go survival coats again. Yeah. Um, I think it's a two-stage process, though. You need two presses. You press it into vegetable oil, and then you press vegetable oil into lamp oil. Now, it's going from a memory that's not you know, known to be bulletproof but all right and there is our pig timer so let's have a look here let's get the mini all built our mine has built we don't have furnace fuel yet so kind of leaving this on standby i think for the moment and i'll think next episode about how to produce furnace fuel I want to get the experiment here is to try a new town hall type and see if the nomads will always show up to it 
or if we get randomness like we had with the other one, so... Hmm. Alright, let's do an end of episode summary here, as soon as this town hall is built. And let's get it built. this produced so far here. Oh no, that's cool. And pearls even, too. Hmm. So it's kind of like a bigger version of, of one of these guys here. Alright, there's our mini town hall. It says we're one short on housing, which is probably believable. So let's just before we go, let's pump down a couple of houses here. And I have to remember to put roads in and everything like that. Okay, so we're one short on the houses. Clothing is pretty good. Hard to get that 100 and keep it there. Education dropped down a bit because of the nomads. But we're now at three and a half hearts, so that's climbing from the low of two. And our food graph here. Five year looks pretty good. Ten year looks pretty good. Now our tool limit's set at 200 and we're not reaching it, so... Next episode we're probably going to have to deal with tools. And herbs. Looks like we're probably using everything that we produce pretty quickly, so... Yeah, it's okay for now, it's helping. Our fuel is dropping a little bit. So it probably wouldn't hurt to expand our production down here of uh, reeds and fire bundles, so... <clears throat> I'm just going to throw a couple of things in here before we shut her down. So a couple more reed farms. And let's see, another dock workshop here. And we'll put all that on fire bundles. Now we are trading firewood, so this guy's doing okay, but we're trading it all away. Alright, so I think that's episode six of um, Duck Pond. And I'm Derpy Moose 99 This is Banished with Mega Mod 9. <laughs>